Hi everybody. Pastor Sarah Ritchie here. It is June the 25th, a Thursday. I'm in my backyard, but I am the minister of First Christian Church in San Bernardino, California. We've been talking about spiritual disciplines. We've talked about prayer. We've talked about having a sense of humor. Today I would like to talk to you about hope. Recently, I attended a workshop by Renovare called Finding Resilience. When there's no end in sight, what can we learn from Harriet Tubman? And one of the presenters was Willie Jennings. Willie Jennings was a professor of mine when I was in seminary. I treasure those classes I took with him. But he said this, hope is a discipline that is energized by anger. Hope is not about waiting, it is about doing. It's not about waiting, it's about doing. For example, like many of you, I'm very angry about the pandemic and about um, the length of time we have been shut up and indoors and distanced and so on and so forth. I'm angry about the deaths that have occurred because of this pandemic. But I have hope. I have allowed this anger to fuel my hope for a future. Now, this is not a passive pie in the sky wish. I'm talking about what I can do in my context to try to make things better, to heal the world, to be a part of God's hands and feet in this world. So for me, what this means is that I will remain socially distanced because it's the right thing to do. I will wear a mask, I will wash my hands, and I will do everything in my power to keep from sharing this virus, spreading this virus any further than it has already been spread. I will also hope and pray that the, a cure will be found, that the people who are sick will be healed, that those who are mourning will be comforted. That's one context of, of hope as a verb, as a spiritual discipline. Another way I would suggest that it's a discipline is in the um, iniquities in the United States of America uh, based upon race. Um, I am angry about the deaths of particularly young black men, but they are not alone. Also, uh, other people of color, women of color. It's happening all the time in the news where we hear yet another young person has been taken from us because of how a stop with the police was, was handled. Um, I'm angry about those things, but I have hope. I have hope that through the deaths of these people, of Ahmaud Arbery, Breonna Taylor, George Floyd, and others, that we are being moved into a direction in our nation that seeks true equality, that puts an end to systemic racism in our midst, that changes laws and systems, and enables people to realize an opportunity to have life, liberty, and the pursuit of happiness. This is my hope. It is what I pray for. And so what can I do with my hope? Well. In my context, I can vote. When possible, I can march and make my voice known. I can contribute. I can educate myself to learn more. 
These are things I can do, even in the middle of a pandemic. So friends, I hope you see your hope <laughs> as a spiritual discipline too, and that you will remember that it isn't about waiting, it's about doing. I pray that God blesses you and that God keeps you, that God's light shines upon you and gives you peace. Take care, everybody. Have a good day. Bye-bye.